Shalom everybody. Um, I meant to do a video um, days ago, but uh, with all the stress and just everything that's just been going on, I just forgot about it. Uh, but tomorrow it's checkout uh, from the hotel, but we, we, we don't have enough uh, for another three nights. Another three nights is $267.81. Um, the windows on the car, they finally uh, got replaced on Friday. Uh, Safe Flight came out and did that. The general manager uh, paid for the $500 deductible. Praise Yahuwah for that. Because uh, there was just, we just didn't have enough uh, to cover that, but the general manager covered it. Um, the Safe Flight guy, uh, he got the air vents to work. Uh, they had stopped working because there was so much moisture in the car. Like, it's so humid here in Florida, and it really rains a lot. Uh, it thunderstormed uh, for a few hours um, yesterday, uh, late in the evening. Uh, so a lot of moisture gets into the car, and so that is what produced all that yellow mold in the back seat. It is still growing, uh, but we do have the windows up now, but... Now we have to get the yellow mold taken care of. It's not safe for us to get back into the car. Uh, I have been calling around, checking around online to see if there's anyone in this area that deals with uh, yellow mold and hopefully it won't cost uh, so much. So, but I'll let everyone know what we find out uh, with that. Uh, but the uh, Safe Light guy, he got the uh, the air vents working again. He said what happens is uh, with some cars, especially with some Mazdas, uh, that, and I didn't know this, uh, that when there's a lot of moisture that gets into the car, the car switches over to defrost. So it had switched over uh, to defrost, which is why uh, the air vents were not working. Uh, but he got in the car, cranked it, he reset it, and got it back to, you know, just regular now. It's not on defrost anymore, so now it's actually, the air vents are working now. Um, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, but the car still uh, doesn't seem to want to start. Sometimes it does, sometimes it seems like it really isn't going to do anything. Uh, and with the Mazda uh, that I have, uh, there's no key where you can just put the key in and crank it. It has a button. Uh, so you have to put your foot on the gas or on the, uh, on the brake, and then you have to push the start button. And it, it just won't do anything sometimes. It just won't cut on, and then other times it will work. So we're going to have to see about that eventually. Uh, and the but the yellow mold we can't get into the car until that's gone and taken care of um, So Like I said, I'll let you know whenever I find out, you know If I can find someone out here to take care of that and how much that's gonna be like I said tomorrow. It's checkout at 11 uh, and We don't have uh, we, what we've been doing. We've been staying every three days and we pay for the days we're coming off of so tomorrow morning, we're gonna have to pay for the three nights that we just stayed. And that's $267.81. Then they let us check back in, stay another three nights. When we check out, that's when we pay again. Uh, but again, we don't have enough money to pay for the nights we're coming off of, let alone for any other night. Uh, if anyone is able, uh, able to uh, help us out, um, we have Zelle, Venmo, Cash App, uh, PayPal, Facebook Pay. Uh, also, uh, tomorrow is my one month post op uh, follow up with Dr. Rankin at 1:45 uh, in the afternoon. Uh, since I can't drive, uh, I'm going to have to take a taxi there, and that's about forty dollars there and forty dollars back. They're a lot more expensive up here uh, than, say, Fayetteville, North Carolina it's more expensive here taking a taxi but that's the only way uh, that i have to get uh, to the doctor's office since we can't get in the car right now um so i i i plan on uh making another update uh just talking about um what to expect uh this first um month i did a week post explant now i'm gonna do 
a one month post explant uh, video, uh, but hopefully I can get that done um, today. Uh, but please keep us in your prayers and we'll keep you updated um, as things come along. We love you. Uh, hopefully, um, hopefully one day uh, soon we'll be able to keep the feast days together. Tomorrow is the last day of, uh, of Sukkot. Uh, and then the day after is the last great day or the eighth great day. Uh, so we just, we praise, praise Yahuwah. We thank him for you. Um, we appreciate everybody who has been with us from the start. Uh, please just keep us in your prayers because we, we definitely need them. Uh, we love you. Shalom.